Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 25 and today I'm going to be telling you what I got for Christmas other than an abscessed tooth. Okay, after an intro like that, I feel like I need to explain myself, but I should probably take this off first, but uh, it's so beautiful. This is a tail from Fin Fun, I think it's called. I'll link the website in the description because these tails are just so good. And this one is one of the Atlantis line tails, I think, where they have the fins on the sides on the ankles over here. There's one going down along my butt, but I'm not gonna turn around and show you that because that's a little weird. So I'm gonna take this off and put pants on and like explain the tooth situation. First of all, I will do a snap and then I'll just be like sitting in normal clothes. Okay, so now we are back to normal. I guess I need to explain myself, the whole tooth thing. Well, first of all, it started, I guess, like a couple of weeks ago and I just wasn't paying attention to it. I started feeling some sensitivity on my tooth whenever I ate something hot or cold or something like sweet or sticky, it would just be kind of sensitive. But this is the tooth I've already had like five root canals on. So like I figured the nerve is dead. Like maybe I'm just kind of sensitive because my Invisalign is moving my teeth around. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. And then yesterday I woke up and had just jaw pain all in here. And then I, I don't know what what prompted me to look in the mirror but I decided to pull my lip back and look in there and I was like oh what is that <laughs> I told my parents about it my dad has had this happen several times before that's it's what's happening to me it's an abscessed tooth I have an infection that spread to the bone because that tooth had a root canal done on it so when the infection was in the tooth I couldn't feel it because there's no nerve until it get until it gets up there to the to my nice little bone now I can feel it but it's honestly not that bad it just feels kind of like I got punched which sounds bad but I pro it's just like a bruise like I feel like I just have a bruise on my face it, this was very nice to have happening you know on Christmas morning on a Friday first of all hopefully it doesn't get too bad by Monday I don't know maybe they'll put me on antibiotics or something I don't know I guess I'll keep you updated so today is the very last vlog of vlogmas I'm sad but also like man I need a break you know and especially with this freaking abscess tooth like I'm glad this didn't happen in the middle of December but today I'm going to be showing you all of the stuff that I got for Christmas I just thought this would be really fun to do because I mean it's kind of like a haul it's kind of like a fun little this is not meant to be braggy in any way like if you got less for Christmas or more for Christmas like that's totally fine. I'm super crazy grateful for everything that I got. I'm also grateful that I have dental insurance even though it's still gonna cost quite a quite a pretty penny. But let's just get into all the stuff that I got for Christmas because I'd love to show it to you guys. I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna start with my favorite one. Obviously it's my beloved, it's the sea dragon color of the Atlantis tails from finfunmermaid.com. The tail that you see in my intro is also from Fin Fun, but that one I got it in August and I ordered it in a custom size because I didn't think the standard size would be long enough. And this one is a little bit shorter, but it's still, it's so stretchy that it like doesn't really matter. But this one fits so much. Much better. I guess I'm just like a very standard XL even though I'm a little bit long. I don't know what size technically that one would be. Yeah that one was just so loose around my stomach and my hips. It was okay around the ankles but it was just like sagging. This one fits a lot tighter. There's not as many wrinkles when I put it on. It just it feels so good and like it just fits really well. It feels like this one's custom but what I love about this one is all these fins going on. They feel like a scuba suit. Like it feels like a really nice material. This one is a little bit more expensive than the standard tails. Oh I love my butt fin. I finally get to have a butt fit. I'm so excited. Like the H2O girls. Mm, I was so happy when I opened it. I just, it's, she's beautiful. God, she's beautiful. Look at those scales. Oh, that print. God, it's gorgeous. It looks so dragony. I'm just so obsessed with this. But my mom ordered just the skin. The fins are swappable. You can have one in a tail and then move it to another tail. So I think I'm gonna buy myself an advanced mono fin because I want to go fast. But yeah, this gorgeous freaking fin fun tail. I love it so much. I can't wait to do pictures in it or just like swim once it's warm again. Obviously when times are a little bit different, I want to go to an ocean or a sea and just take like underwater pictures in one of my tails or both of my tails if I'm being honest because the fabric is so compact and if I take one fin I can easily take both fabrics you know what I mean but I love this one so much it's so pretty this is the one that I fell in love with but I didn't think I could fit into the standard sizes because this one's not available in custom so we took a chance got the XL and I'm so glad I did it also I've read can stretch with use like as you swim in it I think one day I might want to get a silicone one because those just look so beautiful and realistic I like the fabric for now they're very light and easy to swim in at least for me I'm a pretty strong swimmer it's also a really great workout get your abs going. I wish I lived somewhere where it was warm all the time. Enough about the tail. I could go on about it forever. So I think I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that was in my stocking, I think. My mom got me these. They're so soft. They're aloe infused socks. 
the light's kind of not focusing. They're blue. It seems like she followed a theme of like me really needing to step up my foot care, which is fine. Yeah, so these feel, they're just so soft. They smell really good. I got a couple candles. She also got some for me for my birthday, so I'm excited to burn these. But this one is Tree Farm. They're both from Bath and Body Works. This one isn't as strong as the Balsam, Balsam, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's not as strong. It has like a fruitiness to it almost. I don't know. It's really pleasant. It's just not as like in your face Christmas tree. And then this one is the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. It's just so like baked goods, you know, with like, like cream cheese baked goods is what it smells like. Just very yummy and sweet. My dad got me the Visa gift card and I think I'm going to spend it on a fin. And then I don't know. I haven't really thought that far ahead. I didn't expect my mom to be able to get this tail here on time, but she did. But just since she was able to get it here on time, I don't have to buy that for myself. So my dad got me this card with the Visa gift cards. It reminds me so much of my cat. She won't stop eating tinsel. It says, have you seen the tinsel? And the other cat says no, but there's a string just coming out of his butt. This picture cracks me up. He look so like oh uh, i just love this card have all the holiday fun you can get away with <laughs> that is not my idea of fun it's definitely princesses though okay next i think i'm gonna go through my stocking fully my stocking looks just like my mermaid tail and i'm obsessed with that so my mom got me some folklore guitar picks i guess she bought these right in july when the album dropped and i just had no idea but they're actually super hard like i actually really like stiffer picks i don't like the super bendy soft ones but they're all pretty firm and they have all the different pictures on there and then she got me these little jelly candies they're vegan and they're made out of like real fruit juice they only have a few ingredients so that's pretty cool and then i got magnetic ardell lashes i've never tried these before but i feel like it would just i'm just so bad with lash glue so i'm super excited to try these i don't like that it's a gel liner that makes me a little bit nervous but i'm gonna give them a shot i like how the lashes look they're like just like fluffy wispy not too crazy then she got me a whole bunch of candy like from the asian mart one of them is i don't think either of us know what this is like sweet tamarind seasoned it has chili sugar and salt so we'll see how those taste then there's some mochi some fruit chews preserved plums, and some coffee cream candies. My mom also got me more foot care products. I did ask for this. It's the baby foot peel. Some of you guys may have heard of it. It's an exfoliation foot peel. You put the little booties on, you let them sit for like an hour, and then you wash the product off and then your feet start peeling a week later like all the dead skin just starts to fall off which is really nice once it's all gone but it's definitely something you want to do in the winter when you're not wearing like sandals because it's not pretty i did this once before i really liked it and i'm starting to get like dry feet again so i need to do it again and she also got me these intensive care booties these don't exfoliate your feet i think it's just like a moisturizer type thing why am i so white okay yeah these are supposed to make your feet soft okay don't laugh at me before i show you this next one first of all this book series was the first series that got me into reading young adult books when I was nine years old. It's kind of crazy that I was reading these when I was literally nine, but it's fine. And now there is a new book in the series suddenly. Yep. Um, I couldn't stop myself from asking for this. It's so thick. I'm so ready to be like reading all the time again because accounting was just killing me so bad. I usually am able to read quite a few books during the semester, but I just was not able to this last semester. And then I got pretty busy with Vlogmas. So I'm excited to delve into some books again. Someone actually requested that I do a comparison of this and Twilight. And I think I might do that. Honestly, once I get through all 500 and something pages, 600 and something. I love books so much. I love a good hardcover. I just... Mm, so good and it's kind of cool that my mom she got me the the ballad of songbirds and snakes the hunger games new thing that came out for my birthday and then this is happening so that's just like my childhood right there she also got me it's mostly my mom my mom's such a good gift giver honestly this year was a mix of like some of the stuff that i asked for and then random things that i didn't know i needed but that i definitely need she got me these leggings they're super long i love a good high-waisted legging but when you're five foot ten that can become a challenge so she got me these and they have these little sparkly flecks down on the bottom they're super cute they're so comfy i love black leggings they go with everything super comfy good for the winter she got all of us eskimo joe's t-shirts it's a little restaurant and store in stillwater where i go to school so this one says reed and i love it it's such an obnoxious color but i just love this it's so like limey it says reed and then it says book of flight but it's the eskimo joe's guy with a dog, I think Husky or something. My mom also got me some Betsy Johnson socks. I love Betsy Johnson everything. Most of my purses are all Betsy Johnson. I just love how they look. I'm gonna show you my Betsy Johnson purse real fast. I just love the style of these bags, a the little heart pattern, this little tie scarf thingy. Oh, I just love it so much. And I have quite a few of these purses. I always buy them when they're like on sale though, cause they can be kind of pricey. And then the inside has this cute little floral pattern. And it's kind of hard to find stuff other than Betsy 
purses in Oklahoma for some reason. I think there's a store in New York that has like dresses. I really want to go there. But she got me some Betsy socks. They have these little candy canes and they're pink and red. And then there are more, more candy canes, stripes. I already have some Betsy socks, but it's fine. And these are hot pink and black. And they say Betsy along the bottom. Love those. And then also, I have never seen these ever in my life. My mom got me Betsy Johnson shoes. I have never seen these sold anywhere. They're kind of strange. Okay, first of all, let me just preface. They're a little weird, okay? They have this pink heart on the front, checkered pattern. They're kind of chunky. And then this rosy thing going on over here. I like the shape because it reminds me of the like 60s cute little that you would wear with like a poodle skirt. I think these would be really good with like an all black outfit they're just so chunky and fun and they actually fit my feet which is that's a challenge because i'm the length of a seven and the width of an 11. i also just love this little like pearl trim here i think that's my favorite part of the shoes and then it also kind of goes around this edge here they're super soft too but yeah they're wide enough they're a little bit long on me which is usually the case but it's fine it's better than too small i'm not going to take them back because they're only sold online and i just don't want to order like i want to try them on you know like i'm just gonna quit while i'm ahead i guess so fun. I'll have to take photos in them sometime soon. I have the perfect like plain black dress that's like kind of flowy that I think would go with these. And then I got a couple more vegan snacks. These are dark chocolate coconut bites. I think what I'm also gonna buy with my Visa gift card is vegan milk chocolate. So I used to love milk chocolate, but it's really hard to find without any dairy. I'm gonna go on a trek through the internet and find some for myself. If you have any recommendations, if you are also lactose intolerant or vegan, please let me know. Hit me up. And then she got me these gingerbread oreos i've never tried these but they're so cute they have a little gingerbread man on them oh there's actually five different designs they have all of these patterns on them my mom got me these <laughs> she got me nearly everything here these wireless headphones i'm excited to use these because i get ear infections a lot and that can be really irritating to put in earbuds so i'm gonna start using these especially while i'm editing because i edit like every single day but sometimes i listen to music like in the car so i don't have to have headphones in but yeah these could come in handy with editing i think it's a lithium rechargeable battery that lasts up to five hours and it takes one and a half hours to charge there's a built-in mic so i'm excited to try these out and then my dad got me an external hard drive i've kind of been needing one since starting youtube it's just been a little tricky i have several flash drives this one is one terabyte and she looks fancy let me tell you she comes in this little pouch i guess this is an ssd version or something honestly i didn't do my research on hard drives i just thought i should probably have one but he knows a lot about external hard drives i trust his judgment <laughs> really freaking cold it just absorbs cold so much but it looks all sleek and little i have to format it before it can be used i've never done something like that before with flash drives you just pop those babies in so i appreciate this it's a very nice external hard drive i also don't know what ssd means but i guess that's good especially for editing off of maybe yeah i'm not completely sure i've been editing off of my laptop and i haven't really had any problems i just think i need more storage yeah i was considering asking for a camera like a real one because i film on my iphone i really like what my iphone is doing like it's so easy and portable and like i don't know it is kind of annoying to not be able to use my phone in my videos i guess but i don't know maybe next christmas if this channel like grows even more i might consider investing in that so make sure to hit subscribe if you're still watching okay so that is i believe all of what i got i feel like i started like throwing things around my room but my mom wanted to display the things i got for her and i also wanted to it's so cute i'm a little bit jealous at first i got her a tofu press she hasn't yet opened it but it looks like this this. It's just like a bamboo and it has this little engraving that's it. super cute. It says like pandas gourmet and then it has these little screws so that you can press the tofu down and adjust it and it also came with these three little they're called cheese cutters but i guess you could like do stuff with tofu with them just whatever i thought they were really cute also have little bamboo handles i love how they feel it's just so satisfying and the next thing i got my mom was this adorable freaking bento box set it's an insulated lunch bag and you pull this string and it just like tightens for that good insulation that we want. And for the box itself, it's made out of wheat fibers. It's microwave and dishwasher safe. I feel like I need to link to this below because it's so inexpensive and so nice. You open it like this. It's three freaking stories. And I was telling my mom, like, your co-workers already think you're insane with all the, like, very healthy, like, vegan foods that she brings. And everyone's so, like, interested and, like, in awe of what she's eating. And I was like, wait till you walk in with this three stories. 
story, son of a gun. So it has this layer, this layer, and then this one is the deepest layer. And you can just kind of put each of your little courses inside the wood fiber. It's such like a natural color, not like dyed, I guess. I mean, I'm sure a little bit of dyed, but like you can see the little individual dots from the fibers. You just stack it and it clicks into place. And then you take this lid off and the top layer, it has a little divider. If you don't want your food to touch, you just slide this in there. I think it comes with two reusable utensils made out of wheat fiber and the fork has a little serrated edge as a knife to cut. These are so cute. Oh my God. I love that it's microwave safe and dishwasher safe because my mom's not that into eating like cold food. So she can take this to work and she can pop it in the microwave and everybody's gonna be so shocked at what she's eating. So cute. I stay up way too late and I would just love nothing more than to just pack my mom some lunches in this box and have it ready for her when she wakes up at five in the freaking morning. She really likes stuff like seaweed salads. You could have a little bit of seaweed salad, some vegetables with a little divider separating them, some tofu, some noodles, whatever. Oh, there's just so much you could do with this and it's so compact. Like it's just so tiny, but you can put so much food in it. It also came with this thermos, this cute little wheat fiber leak proof thermos and a spoon. It's so cute. Oh my god, I'm just so obsessed with this. So she's got her little thermos. She can have some soup with her food. Or I guess like a drink you could put in here. But that's not all. Mm, no. It also comes with a cleaning brush thing to clean your lunchbox. <laughs> For some reason it came with four little cupcake molds. So I guess if you want to make yourself some dessert. And this wasn't advertised on the Amazon page, but it did come with little cupcake toppers in the shape of these cute little animals. There's like an elephant, a bunny, a frog, a panda. And there's also like a warranty thing here. It's just, this was only like $16.99. Yeah, it's a freaking three year warranty. And this bag is so like, it has that foily insulation. Super good buy. I kind of want to get myself one, but I don't pack lunches anywhere. But I need it though, you know? It also comes in brown and pink. Those are out of stock right now. So I got the green one and she likes the color. So that's good. I got her some vegan hot chocolate with some vegan marshmallows. And I also got her some prickly pear lemonade, some vegan cocoa spread. It's like Nutella, but no dairy. And I also got her some dried hibiscus flowers. <laughs> she used to pronounce hibiscus as hibiscus. She said they were really good. She loves plants so much and I thought it would be kind of like a funny joke, but they actually taste really good. I tried them. They're yummy. And I also found <laughs> dried watermelon at World Market. It's so insane. It's literally just dehydrated watermelon and that's it. That's the only ingredient. But we were talking about this a few weeks ago and she was like, is there such a thing as dried watermelon? And I was like, I don't see how that's possible. Like watermelon is 90 percent water but a few weeks later here it is i found it so that concludes my haul what i got for christmas 2020 video other than an abscess tooth i can't believe i just completely did the vlogmas like i just i blinked and it was over i have 25 videos that i posted that would have taken me 25 weeks in normal time i loved interacting with you guys every single day in the comments that just kept me going like knowing you guys were watching that was super motivating for sure and just because i won't be around every single day doesn't mean you can't like dm me on instagram Instagram. I'd love to chat with you all. I think I'm going to take a short break, probably just like a week and a half. I think I want to post the first Sunday of January. And before Vlogmas, I was posting once a week. That semester was really bad. I don't think I could have done any more than once a week. This semester is a little lighter. I only have class two days a week, so I feel like I'll have more filming days. And I might be able to work it up to two a week, but I'm not going to make any promises. I will for sure be doing once a week. I'm going to come back with some more Evermore videos. I'm going to write out some plans for that and just like focus on planning some videos as opposed to just editing every freaking night. So yeah, some Evermore content, a review, as well as an analysis that you guys have been asking me for. I'll also do a champagne problems cover once I'm back at my apartment with a working piano because that one's pedals broken. I also have a story time coming because one of you guys requested that I do more of those. I'm still trying to figure out which one I should tell. I have a whole list of different story times that I want to tell. I might do a little more college vlogs in the new year, just kind of a mix of all of that kind of stuff. So if that interests you, make sure to hit subscribe and turn the bell icon on so that you know the next time I post a video. If anything horrible happens with my tooth, like I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I think that concludes Vlogmas. This is so wild. I will see you guys in the new year and I hope you had an amazing Christmas or whatever other holidays you celebrate. I hope you enjoyed looking at the stuff that I got or the stuff I got other people. That honestly brings me the most joy, like seeing my mom open this stuff that she wasn't expecting and she just looked so stunned at the bento box. She loves it so much and I was so freaked out because she said she wanted a bento box and then a couple days later she said she didn't want a bento box and I had already press order but luckily i think she's really into it because it's so like it's just so many pieces and so cool god i went off on a huge tangent hope you had some great holidays i will see you guys next year and i hope you have an amazing day bye guys <laughs>